thank you for this Sabbath. We ask you, Father God, that you just have your way. Touch each one in here, Lord. And Lord, as we go forth in your truth, that you bring this truth out. Touch our family members as well. That we lift up and friends, Lord, we just lift them up right now. Lord, we thank you for the truth that you're revealing in this yes, hour. Yes, Lord. And Lord, that you who are blessed. Shalom. 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 Yeah. So I want to read. Okay, I'll take it. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, we just started with First Samuel. Okay. Chapter 7 and 12. We just call this the rebuilding of the nation. Right here, okay. Re rebuilding of the nation. Rebuilding of the nation. First Samuel yeah. chapter. First Samuel chapter seven and thirteen. Two, 12 and thirteen. Samuel or 1st Samuel? It's 2nd Samuel. Oh, okay. Yeah, I okay. probably said it wrong. Okay, it's 2nd Samuel. Okay. 2nd Samuel, chapter, thir uh, chapter 12, verse uh, 12 and 13. 2nd uh, Samuel, chapter 7. Uh, yeah, I think it, this got to be it. Second Samuel chapter seven verse twelve, and when they, when thy day be fulfilled, and thou shalt sleep with thy father, I will set up thy seed after thee, which shall proceed out of thy bowels, and I will establish his kingdom. Thirteen. He shall build a house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. Sixteen, right? Uh, you got you went to thir thirteen, right? Yeah, I went to thirteen. Okay, go and get sixteen. Yeah. All right. Second Samuel chapter seven verse sixteen. And thy house and thy kingdom shall be established forever before thee. Thy throne shall be established forever. Now let's let's go to Matthew sixteen eighteen. Matthew chapter 16 verse 18 and I say unto thee thou that thou art Peter and upon this rock I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it yeah and I want to go to I know that we I said the precept that goes with that pretty yeah. much is uh, Hosea 6 and 2 but before we go there yeah Let's go to the one in St. John 2, 19. St. John 2. Where Christ said, destroy the temple, right? Yeah. Because it all ties it together, right? Okay. Matthew chapter 16. Oh, it's, right here. it's right here. It's right here. Okay, Matthew. Yeah, Matthew chapter 16, verse 18. Okay. So, and now it's St. John 2, 19. Mm -hmm. John chapter 2, verse 19. 
And Yeshua answered and said unto them, Destroy this temple, in three days I will raise it up. Now we'll go back to Matthew 16, 18, right? Yeah. See it? Okay. Matthew, yeah, we, yeah we're, going, we're going back to Matthew 16, 18. Okay. Matthew chapter 16, verse 18. And I say unto thee, Thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail, prevail against it. See? Yeah. Now let's go to the Hosea 6, 6, 1 and 2. Okay. So just like we was bringing it out, and then I, I wasn't going to go this way, uh -huh. but I know we we brought it out early. Yeah. I was going to teach something else. Uh -huh. But I said, well, we might as well go ahead and teach this. Okay. And uh, so, uh, cause this was fresh, wasn't it? Very fresh. Well, so, this is deep. So we was very deep. And so we just going to show you that what the Lord showed us yeah. more. He showed us that when he himself got, you know, died for us. Yes. That also, that was also the by his body being destroyed, uh -huh. that's also the nation of Israel being destroyed. That's what it's all about. Right? Yes. So we'll show you right here. Uh, Hosea chapter 6, verse 1. Come, let us return unto the Lord, for he has torn, and he will heal us. He has smitten, and he will bind us up. Two, after two days, he will revive us, and in the third day, he will rise us up. And we shall live in his sight. See? So we know we're in the third day now because the Lord revived us. Wow, that's right. right? Yes, he did. So we're, we don't know what part of it is. Yeah. Because we know that the war is coming too in this time, right? Yes. And so we, we've been revived. So he restoring us back to, the, to who we are. Yes. Right? Yes. Hosea 6 and 2 again. Can you read that yes. again? Hosea chapter 6 verse 1. Come, let us return unto the Lord, for he hath torn us, torn me, and he will heal us. He has smitten, and he will bind us up. Two, after two days he will revive us, and in the third day he will raise us up, and we shall live in his sight. So we know when it's talking about he hath torn us. That's, talk, that's going into the northern kingdom right. and the, the southern kingdom. Yes. Split. Yes, yeah, split. Being split. Yes. So that's what that's talking about. Ah. It's talking about torn. But yeah. he said that he's going to heal us, be rebuilding, rebuilding the nation back up. Okay. He would be, right? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So since we, we are talking about it being destroyed uh -huh. and built back up, let's yeah. go to Jeremiah 31. 31. Because we see the Lord is, is talking about double meanings in this, right? Uh -huh. And 31 and 27. 21. Go to Jer Jeremiah 31 and 27. All right. Jeremiah. Chapter 31, verse 27. Behold, the days come, said the Lord, that I will salt the house of Israel and the house of Judah with the sea of man and with the sea of beasts. Yeah, it didn't go to 28. Okay. Jeremiah, chapter 31, verse 28. And it shall come to pass that like as I have watched over them, to pluck up and to break down and to throw down and to destroy and to replay. So will I wash over them to, to build, to plant, says the Lord. See? So uh, so yeah, yeah so that. so it's in set twenty seven and twenty eight. I forgot to give you twenty eight. Yeah. So the Lord said he just like he watched, I'll read it again, because I'm you know to, to break it down and yeah. teach it. Uh -huh. So right here in twenty eight and it shall come to pass that like as I have watched over them to plunk up mm -hmm. and to break when he plunk up, that means he's like it's like removing the plant. Right. So he removed us from, from our land. Yes, he did. So as it come to pass, 
I may come to pass that like as I have washed over them to plunk up and to break down and to, to throw down and to destroy and to afflict, so I watch over them to build and to plant, said the Lord. See? There it is. So you can go back to Matthew 16, right? Uh -huh. Where Christ talks about building, right? Yeah. Matthew chapter 16, verse 18. And I say unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. See? Yeah. So we see we were destroyed, and so he's building back up. And we can show you another part where we can see what we were destroyed. It ties into it, Revelation 11. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Cause that's when we got destroyed. Sure did. Ooh, I mean, they got that's why they started celebrating with gifts. Yeah. Yes, they did. Okay. Is that far? You want to go to ten? It start with eight. Eight. Okay. And go with uh, nine. And ten, yeah. All right. Revelation chapter eleven, verse eight. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Nine. And they of the people, the kindred, the tongues, the nation, shall see their dead bodies three days and a half, and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in grave. 10. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry and shall send give one to another because these two prophets torment them that dwell upon on the earth. See? Uh, yeah. So we was destroyed, right? Yes, we were. Because that's what we're talking about us being dead now, right? Yeah. Because they, they destroyed us in slavery, right? Yeah. Because we, we can get that in uh, Daniel 7. Because we was word out, right? It yeah. tells you in that scripture that we was word out. So they were just out of slavery. Slavery. Sure did. Yeah, you seven. Yeah. Oh. So I believe it's Daniel seven, right? Yeah, it's I'm, I'm looking. Yeah, it's Daniel seven. Where are we at? Um, Twenty-five. Yeah. Is it twenty-five? Yeah, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Daniel chapter seven, verse twenty-five. <clears throat> and he speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and think to change times and law, and they shall be given into his hand unto a time and times and the dividing of time. So to tell you that the saints, they were where the saints out, they were that's out in slavery. Sure did. So that meaning that we were out of slavery is now to a place now you don't know who you are. Right. Right? Yeah. You've been destroyed because that's the curses. Because we go to Deuteronomy uh -huh. 28. Yeah. It said that these curses should overtake us and to destroy us. Sure. Yeah. Uh, you want to go, uh, me, uh, 15? Yeah, here we go. Yeah. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy Elohim, to observe to do all his commandments, his, his statute, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Yeah. And that, then also 48, because then we'll speak about Israel over and to, the, to you be destroyed. Okay. To they destroy. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore, 
shall thou serve thy enemy with the Lord shall sin against thee in hunger and thirst and nakedness and want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of Upon thy neck until he had destroyed thee. See? Yeah. So it ties into what we what we brought out in Revelation. True. That we were destroyed, right? Yeah. Yes, we were. So now we see that the Lord is talking about building the nation back up. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The nation. True. The nation of Israel. Mm -hmm. So also tie in Amos 9 and 11 that with with uh, 16, Matthew 16, 18. Amos 9 11. Yeah. Also with uh, St. John 2 and 19. St. John 2 and 19. Oh, yeah. So you see it? Yeah. Yes. Amos chapter 9, verse 11. And that day where I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof. And I will raise up his ruins, and I will build it as in the days of old. See, right yes. there. He built it up there. And so I'm just going through some precepts now to uh -huh. show you house, right? Yes. Because house is a nation. Yeah. So uh, so Zechariah 14, 21, I have uh, that written down. Zach Zechariah? 14, 21. Okay, 14. Zechariah chapter 14, verse 21. Yea, every pot in Jerusalem and in Judea, Judah, shall be holiness unto the Lord of hosts, and all that they sacrifice shall come and take of them, and see us there therein, and that day there shall be no more Canaanite in the house of the Lord of hosts. So the house, when he said house of the Lord of hosts, he's talking about Israel. Yes. The nation of Israel. Yes. And then also we go to Psalms 83 and 12, uh -huh. speaks about, they, uh, you know, our enemies wanted to take possession of the two houses oh. of the Lord, right? Yeah. That's what is the two houses of the Lord? The northern kingdom and yeah, the southern kingdom. kingdom. Yeah. So they took us and, and, and enslaved us. Sure did. Sure, yeah, here it is. Psalms 83, verse 12. Who said, let us take to ourselves the houses of Elohim in possession? So that's the two, that's the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. kingdom. Yes. So you take those in possession, right? Yeah. That's when they enslaved us. That's right. Right? Yep. Then uh, in Acts 7 and 38, this breaks down and shows you who the, who the church is. Okay. It's all telling you Israel, right? Yeah. Israel. Is it 538? Uh, 738. Acts 738. Oh, 738, okay. Acts 738. Acts chapter 7, verse 38. This is he that was in the church in the wilderness, with the angel which spake unto him in the Mount Sinai. And with our fathers, who we see the lively oracle to give unto us. See? Yes. That's the nation of Israel. That's the nation of Israel. So I'll tell you who the church is. It's in the wilderness. That's right. With Moses. It's us. Right? Yep. And now, uh, yeah, we go back to Psalms 80, 83 and 12 uh -huh. again. We will show you how this precepts. Psalms 83, verse 12. Who said, let us take to ourselves the houses of Elohim in possession? And it precept that with uh, 30, uh, Ezekiel 37, 22. When we hit said house, now we can show you nation. Right? 37, 22, yes. So the Lord is building a nation 
Right? That's what it's all about. The rebuilding of the nation of Israel. Yes. Right? Yeah. Ezekiel chapter 37 verse 22. And I will make them one nation in the land upon, upon the mountains of Israel. One king shall be king to them all, and they shall be no more two nations. Neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms anymore at all. See? And then uh, St. John 10, 16 precept with that. St. John, chapter 10, verse 16. And the other sheep I have, which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. See? Yes. So Christ is speaking from Ezekiel 37, 22. Wow. Right? The world don't know that. Wow. So Christ always taught the law. Yes, he does. The Torah. Yes. And he also taught out of the prophets. True. So he's speaking the same thing. Yeah. That the prophets were saying. Right. Right? Nothing different. Nothing, Nothing yeah. different. True. Right? Yeah. So we also told you when we was in it earlier, uh -huh. uh, St. John 10, 16, go to St. John 11. Because we, we, we bring it about the other fold, right? Yeah. Other fold. St. John 11, right? 11. And if you want to, you can start with 49. Okay. Okay. And go all the way down to 52. All right. John chapter 11, verse 49. And one of them, named Cyprus, being the high priest that same year, said unto them, Ye know nothing at all, 50, nor consider that it is expedient for us that one man should die for the people, and that the whole nation perish not. 51. And they speak of him, they speak him not of himself, but being the high priest that year, he prophesied that Yahushua shall die for that nation. 52, not for that nation only, but also he should gather together and one, one the children of Elohim that were scattered abroad. See? Yes. So gathering the, the ones who scattered abroad. Yes. Right? Yes. So that's what that's going into the other fold. And then also, let's go back to, uh, uh, what's called it, Matthew? Uh, Matthew uh, 16, 18. Yeah, yeah. Well, you talked about building, right? Uh -huh. The reason why I'm going there is I'm going to precept this also with uh, Ephesians chapter 2, verses 14 and 15 and 16. Chapter 2, verse 14. I mean, chap uh, chapter 14. Chapter 2. Oh, chapter okay. Ephesians 2, 14 and 16. Because this is all talking about the body being rebuilt. He's right. rebuilding the nation, right? Okay. Matthew chapter 16, verse 18. And I say unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock will I build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. See? Yes. Now let's go to Ephesians 2, 14 and 15 and 16. Because this right here, just like I told you, uh -huh. uh, it, it brings out that he, one new new man, uh -huh. he brings out Christ, one new man in himself. Let's talk about a new body. Right? Oh, okay. Where he died. Yeah. 
So that's all we're going into the new nation. The yeah. nation. You know. Wow. We you know, building a yeah. building. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 14. For he is our peace, who have made both one and have broken down the middle wall of petition between us. So you know what that middle wall be? Because uh, they had no dealings. Right. Dealings with each other. Yeah. yeah that's right. We hate each other. Uh, 15. Having abolished in his flesh the iniquity. Even the law, the commandment contained to ordinance for to make in himself the twain of one new man, so making peace. 16. And that he might reconcile both unto Elohim in one body by the cross, having slain the enmity thereby. Yeah. And go back to 14, read 14 again, because it's a precept in uh, Isaiah that we can see. All right. Let me see, let me see. between us. 15. Having abolished in his flesh the iniquity, even the laws of commandment contain the ordinance, for to make in himself of twain uh, one new man, so making peace. See, when you talk about iniquity, that's hatred. Oh, that's right, it is. So, the hatred with one another. One another. Well, and we can see, go to, uh, go to Isaiah chapter 11, mm -hmm. Verse 13, it pre it preset with this. Okay. So it's talking about the, the envy also of Ephraim shall depart. Oh, uh, yeah, we got that problem. Yeah. So he's telling you it's, it's going to depart. So it ties into that scripture. What it's talking about the middle wall and everything, uh -huh. all that stuff. Okay. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 11, verse 13. The enmity also of Ephraim shall depart. And the adversary of Judah shall be cut off. Ephraim shall not envy Judah, and Judah shall not vex Ephraim. See? Yeah, that's so now y'all see how that yeah. now he's got a full you got full understanding now. Yeah. As we see this is all going into the building of the nation. Ah, uh, yes it is. Right? Yes. Also when Christ suffered, uh -huh. you can look at that as symbolic of the nation being destroyed. Yeah. Because he said destroy this temple. Yeah. In three days, I bring it back up. Yeah. So, so we in the third day. Yeah, we are in the third day. Right. And yeah. He's bringing it back. He brought it up. Wow. Right. Yeah. He revived us. Yes. Wow. Revive means to be brought back to yeah. your original state. Okay. Of now, who you used to be. Yeah. So we, that goes into revival. So you can't have a revival of something that never had it. Wow. Because a lot of churches talk about revival. Yes. Revival, how can you have revival? You ain't never had it. That's right, you never had it. Never. Wow. Wow. So this is the real revival that God's doing yes. in Israel is we awakening. Wow, and that's something. Right? And coming back yeah. to their who they really are. Yeah. Wow. And you saw this trying to make it uh, yeah. that D want to do it. But it's not true. Yeah. Because they had never had it. <laughs> yeah. They can't. Right. Yeah. They can't. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. 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 Deep. Yeah, the Lord is bringing this truth out. I would say so. Mm. Well, I think we're done with that. Okay. Why would you good? I wasn't planning to go there, but I said, well, since we already really in it, yeah. we should go ahead and go there. Because I had another there. lesson. Yeah. And so the Lord is good, right? Yes. Very good. So how did y'all feel about that? Oh, it was awesome. It was awesome. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs>
Yeah. Especially, it, to me, it's like a double meaning. Yeah. Because I didn't realize it, there's more to it than. At least, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ready? Yes. All right. Ready to miss? Mm -hmm. All right. Father, we thank you right now for yes, this word, Lord. this truth, Lord, and we pray, Lord, that you would just touch everyone in here. Thank you. Lord. Touch those who haven't made it, Lord. We lift up Sierra. Yes. Touch her, what they're going through in their time of grief. Mm -hmm. Lord, that you would move in this situation. So, Father, we pray, Lord, touch Tavi in her household, Lord. Bridget, Lord, we ask you right now, touch, Lord, my mom, touch my dad. Mm -hmm. We just lift up them. Lord, that you move in all this situation. And Aunt Judy, Lord, we thank you right now. Yes. So, Father, as we go from here, we ask you, Lord, that you bless the food, bless the hands to prepare it. And in your name, Shalom. Shalom.